G'day folks and welcome back. Um, if you joined me on my last video there of the brief breakdown of the flyby video, um, we did, the quality wasn't that fantastic because I had to go and pull that from the actual Congress meeting itself there, so the footage wasn't that fantastic at all. But uh, thanks to John Greenwald there and his efforts there with the Black Vault website there, he's managed to go and use his sources there to obviously get the, uh, the HD version of this footage. So... Um, yeah, we'll try and give us a bit of a better breakdown with a bit more quality and find out what this actual thing is. Um, but, you know, you never know. I don't think we're really going to go on Gerling by this point. I was looking at it previously, but um, we'll let it run through and we'll see what you think. Well, I guess we're going through. Um, now, the reports did say that the object was stationary and or moving very slow. Um, if at all, I'm not really sure exactly, um, as the report really didn't say too much on that. So all the movements here are from the F-18 going past this object. And not two crafts uh, passing each other head on. So it doesn't really give us much justice at all at this point in time with the, um, the quality on this, even though there's a HD version. So we'll just stop it there and have a look. So as you can see, we've got three frames this time, whereas last time we had two frames from the previous video that I put up. So um, last time I mentioned that there was like a distortion or a um, propulsion trail going through on the last video there, but uh, I think it's safe to say thanks to the quality of that footage that I was using at the time was um, just a fault of the actual footage itself, thanks to the quality. But this time, at least we get the three frames in, and it still doesn't seem to give us much detail of the object itself. You can sort of see that this here is the actual craft itself. I think here it will be, well, I think it's safe to say that this will be a reflection from the sun itself. As you can see, there's a bit of shadow here. So the sun's sort of punching through over this direction here with the light. And you can sort of see in the two frames there that the light is pretty consistent with where it's traveling by give it um, that it's a reflection there but I think it is also safe to say that this object is more than likely metallic in my opinion given that it's uh, reflecting the sun the sun's light very well um, but we can have a bit of a closer look here I'm gonna have a bit of a tinker with some settings here and see what we can try and figure out and we'll try and zoom in on this object a little bit better and I'll try and center it a little bit better And I shall just go and do a bit of filtering here. Try and make it a little bit crisp. I don't think it really does much justice. <laughs> the, the program's pixelation is sort of giving it a bit of color around its edges there to try and form some sort of object there. So it's not really helping too well. Um, saturation doesn't seem to do much there at all for bringing out the actual object itself. Check with the shadows. Still doesn't do much justice for it. Um, playing with the contrast, not really much at all. Um, exposure, definitely not. <laughs> so we'll revert that back to its normal settings, put the sharpness back on, and we'll see if we can get this back on. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll go through the video again. I want to try and spot this thing as it's coming into the, uh, towards the craft there, I should say. And then I'll revert that back to its basic there, and I think we'll. Just try and get it down here somewhere. Because I think the craft is coming across here somewhere. Or, you know, it's he's approaching it here somewhere. It's got to be around this region, surely, and comes past. So we'll put this back in full screen there and see if you guys can spot anything that's going past at the moment. The dirt on the windscreen certainly doesn't help in this situation, whether we're trying to pick where this object is coming from. But... Is what it is. So basically here we'll be looking for any sort of forms of distortion in the pixelation of a object in the distance that's on the approach or at least getting closer to the, the F-18. Which I can't really see in the see any distortions or any forms or anything like this point 
time to see where, where it's actually coming from or where it's situated. Um, the dirt on the windscreen is very distracting at this point. So he's come back for another look and I still can't seem to see anything. So this is where he's just better go and look to his right to see this object go past. And I still can't seem to see any sort of distortions or any signs of an object getting close to the, the F-18 until it actually comes past here. So it sort of makes me think this object isn't overly large in size. Um, it seems to be reasonably small compared to this F-18 um, and reasonably close as well given perspective. Um, it's just a bit of a wild guess here. Um, maybe 10, 15, 20 metres away from the actual F-18 as he goes past this object. So it's really hard to sort of get an idea of just how large this object is But in saying that, you would think if it's only 15, 20 metres away from the uh, the F-18 itself, that you would actually see something on the approach there, which sort of gives me an idea that this object isn't very large at all. And the camera's not picking it up thanks to the glare and the dirt on the windscreen there. So it's certainly interesting. Because it really doesn't seem to be that far away. And especially when you put in the perspective of the speed that as it's going by, um, that the obviously the, the F-18 is hooking along, which would also indicate that it's reasonably close to the actual jet itself. So it's a tough one to sort of get an idea of what this thing actually is. So I don't know guys, um, until we hear more from the report there of what the actual scenario was behind this, then um, it's just another guessing game unfortunately. But um, we'd love to hear you guys' opinions and see what you think. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll just wait and see. Um, unfortunately again, we don't get any defined detailed footage of what these objects may be that they're trying to report as a UAP. Um, but I guess we'll um, hopefully the future will bring a better outcome there so all right guys i'll leave you with it and um yeah be sure to let us know what you think there what your thoughts are and your opinions on what this craft might be and um if anyone has a better program they can go and use at this point there with a bit of bit of uh, better knowledge than me on um figuring things thing, figuring these things out um by all means be sure to post it up and share it um, but anyway guys i'll leave you with it and all the best till next time